Hey guys, this is Maple, and today we are casting a custom 3v3 on duel between the green team on the bottom side, Pro Pro, Pro Pro, Happy Death, Shredder 27 as the green team, against the carbon team to the north. It is Gift Kill, Kulski, and Mr. Robotic. This game is being played on duel. We do have both players gonna start going for the neutrals, it seems. Yes, Gift Kill. He's also supporting here. They are going to take out this Goliath fairly fast. Everyone but Kulski. Kulski is doing something. Um, I guess he's bunkering creeps or something. Not sure. But uh, I do need to get used to these controls. But Kulski, he, he's taking two shooters. I have no idea where he's going with this. That was a very awkward path to take. Like He, he like, went from here to there. Usually we just fly around, but I guess he was trying to... You know, get one of those stealth neutralizations here, but oh, Kuski does go down to happy death. Yeah, the upkeep is in favor of the carbon team at this moment. We do have the third Goliath being taken out by Pro Pro. They are going to salvage it with that ratchet. The neutralization is still going on. It, it's although, like at this point, it's it's mainly delaying creeps because there's only two shooters. Like it's like the creeps will just walk in. It's it just preventing the creeps from going out. This Longhorn. A very sorry Longhorn here, it's going to go down isolated. Apparently, I guess it got misrallied. Very bye-bye Longhorn, but yeah, we do have Shredder. He's he's getting Tesla, like, he needs to be careful. He got a bit, a bit of stasis there. And we do have a Bucky, just as sorrowful. That Bucky, unfortunately, going out. But this is an awkward spot for the green team. This could be a... a, a oh, crap. This could be a big problem for the green team. Happy Death going down to give him a kill. And this push is going to get shut down very hard. A very strange route. I didn't really see like why they took that route, but um, they do get completely shut down there. They are quite uh, behind on upkeep. Maybe they're. I'm not sure if they're trying to synchronize a push with these tangos, but yeah, apparently some something went wrong there, and the green team's push was not very effective at all. And I'm not sure what Provo was doing, but they do manage to retake it. They t I assume they took out those two shooters that were there. Arm team, I'm not sure if they actually want to push here. Are they going to do it? This could go either way, I'm not sure. Gif Mikil needs to be careful. Um, okay, Gif is going to pick up that lockbox. This this one has already been taken as well. But, oh, Kuski, I'm not sure why he was there. I, I assume there was some... No, I don't see any carbon push, but... I guess he was he just landing there and trying to pick off some tangos and stuff, but... Yeah, upkeep is very much in favor of the carbon team at this point. Although in three v three, is that might like that 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 could change pretty quickly. We do have Happy Death gonna land. Uh, I thought he was gonna kill something, but he just doesn't leave. Doesn't want to get taken out. I guess we do have a couple of Longhorn here. I'm not sure why he dropped them in the back. Maybe like a surprise kind of thing, just kind of hiding it. And. Shrider does go down to a fine long one. Mr. Obak is bombing this. I think that's a great move here. But where are all the carbon needs? The carbon needs are going out. Are they going for a Y push or a T push? I think it's going for a Y. Or else it would have turned. But um, I'm not sure how well, how effective this push is going to be. There is a, a couple of units here. Mr. Mr. Obak, he, he can't go down here. He needs to get alive. No, don't, don't go forward, man. You need to self-repair. You need to self-repair. Just stay there. This push is going to get shut down very hard with these multiple Teslas and multiple mechs in this area. Mr. Obark, he's he has amazingly still stayed alive here with that level up. The green push is shut down, but this carbon push has also been shut down. They are now going to T, going to try to salvage what they can of this push and get this outpost neutralized. But Kulski is so low on HP right now. And there's an enemy Tesla tower. He needs to be careful. He's, well, he's going to go down. He does go down. Mr. Obark also really low on HP. This could be a bit of a problem for the green team. Mr. Obak needs to get out of there. He barely does survive. And Gif Mikil does manage to capture this bottom carbon. Like this outpost does go carbon for a brief second here. But this grinder also going to go down. That's, that is going to be unfortunate. All the all the green players are here. But Gif Mikil is by himself. The other players did go down. And they lose this outpost just as quickly. Kuski coming back a bit late. Probably does not want to commit to it at this point. And just try to focus on this mid battle. Like they're, they ha the carbon team is relentless, trying to push again, but this could be an overextension. The, the upkeep is starting to even out here. They used to have the advantage, but now it's evened out, and 
It might even go into the car the green team's favor. Mr. Robot goes down to a flacker. I'm not sure what Kulski was doing, probably trying to get another neutralization. Oh, really long HP does manage to get out of there alive. But yeah, this um the Carmen team is still ahead. They they're they're massing up rebels. Trying to recover some of the upkeep that they lost. Let's see what Happy Death is doing. Happy Death and Pro, they are coordinating an attack here. But it is quite heavily defended. It does not look like they will to do much. They'll get a neutralization, but with these so many tanks here, they won't be able to do much else besides neut just neutralizing. Mr. Robot killing something. I assume, I assume it was more than creeps. Oh, he goes down. Whatever it was, it probably wasn't worth it since he died in the end, but... Yeah, the upkeep is still in favor of this carbon team at 68 to 41 right now. Give me kill doing a quick scout. Kuski really low on HP, he needs to be careful. Eh. Oh, he does go down with to that to that homing missile there. Hitting him as he transformed. But yeah, Goliaths are now out. They might have been out for a while now for the carbon team, but all of the players are at, at the very least level seven or higher. This is actually like going in favor of the carbon team. So far, in terms of both level and income and map control and upkeep, all that stuff. But yeah, we do see. Do we see a push? They are pushing. The ice cream Bucky is is um roaring. Strider goes down. Very unfortunate there. Happy Death gonna neutralize and take this outpost with four creeps. All the carbon players are occupied with this push apparently. And um, I guess Pro Pro he is gonna be rallying those glives back for the defense. This could be an interesting. I'm not sure if he can. If these units, oh, these units are moving so slowly. Like I'm not sure if they can get them back in time. They might be able to hold off a push here, but these are a lot of units. If the if the carbon team does not get everything here, they might not be able to defend this. But, but the pathing is a bit derping though. Like the, the units are very very slowly coming in, and the Tesla towers are messing up the AI. The creeps are messing up the AI as well. The Carbon team is going to take quite a bit of damage before they come in. They actually might not be able to get a kill here. Like, they, they lost a lot. And this this is going to be close. They might, at the very least, they should get like at least halfway damage. Happy Death blocking as much as he can. Strider doing a lot of damage with that Death Ray. But the Carbon is getting very, very low here. One player goes down. Another goes down. And Gift McKill, Gift McKill does manage to get out of there a lot. He almost gets killed by the Flackers going on, but... This carbon team has been shut down, and they don't even actually get more than half. It's only barely more than half, half HP taken out, and they didn't even need to rally back the, those units that they had at this outpost. And the upkeep is now in favor of the green team. It's almost 60 to around 40, but this outpost does get neutralized. Mr. Buck, he needs to be careful. His really low HP does get taken out, and. Things, uh, the gift me kill is gonna take a scout here. Let's see, Kilski. I'm not sure what he was doing there, but uh, uh, nah. I'm not sure why. We, why was he holding a lockbox at this location? I think, I assume the green player dropped it, but he was like flying literally over the outpost. That was a very unfortunate place to be holding a lockbox. Maybe he should have just ditched it and try, tried to afterburn. Does he have afterburn? Yes, he does have afterburn. But yeah, um, Mr. Bach does go down as well. This could be a bit of a problem. The um, carbon players have been going down one after another. They, if they don't, you know, manage to stay alive at the same time, they could, they could be losing the advantages that they had. They, in fact, the the upkeep is, you know, very much in favor of the green team at this point. Happy Death can get another, another neutralization here. Kuski as a striker. Happy is also a striker, but it. Where's Happy? Happy is. Almost goes down, very close there. But yeah, the um, green team is pushing. Th this pro pro is only doing it by himself though. Like, um, okay, does drop. The Where are the other green players? Like, okay, this is a double push. This, this, I think this push will actually work. There's not enough carbon left here. There are a lot of Goliaths. Where are, where, like, the carbon units are all, all gone. But I don't think this should not be Elder upkeep. Like, there's 30 upkeep. Not sure where that is, but. Um, yeah, this they even have a devastator on the field. On the field, this this is um, yeah, the carbon team just kind of got shut down hard. This is going to be really difficult to come back from at this point. This it's 94 to 32. Where is that upkeep? Oh, if Miko does take out Happy Death, that's 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 good. That's a start to a comeback, kind of. 
But we do have this Goliath, the Goliath drop neutralizing this top. Brutes coming out as well. This Devastator, th there is a Devastator, and Popo is going to keep it alive as the level 10 Osprey here. This Goliath is still neutralizing this outpost. Is this? No, the Tesla is not actually defending. But yeah, this outpost is going to go down, I think. And yes, it does. 31 to 113 upkeep. This is this is pretty much a very one-sided game at this point. It looks like it's going to end quite quickly here. We do have a drop, a Goliath drop. Probably a good choice at this point because is they they can't win at, with the standard kind of thing. The entire green team is going to come back to block, but the entire carbon team is dead. They can't really do anything. And look at all these brutes. They're going to take this outpost. Kilsey lands and tries to sword them, but is not going to be in time and the brutes manage to capture it. They do have a lot of armor. Although with these multiple mechs, but Kilsey is really low HP. He's, uh, he does go down. Popo, he's carrying a devastator to this close outpost. Yeah, I guess you could call this a close. Give me a kill. Uh, it goes down as well. Holding a glyph, trying to get it back. But yeah, things have not gone well for the carbon team. Round 30, 28 upkeep to 106 at this point. And we do not see... We do not see Devastators in the loadout of the Carbon team, so... They're going to be at a tech, a tech disadvantage, if you will, for the remainder of this game. Does not look like they have many ways to come back besides, I guess, just dropping. And... Happy Death gonna neutralize their last outpost here. I guess he's gonna run away, no need to risk it, I guess. If me kill running out of um, energy, I guess he was looking, I'm not, oh, maybe he was trying to, I think he wasn't planning to, to drop out an outpost at all, he was trying to do some damage. Give me kill, just recharging his energy, just chilling right there. But, yeah, the carbon team in a pretty dire situation, like, maybe they can just try to do, yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do, they're going to try and drop. That's probably the only way they can, you know, just take the win. Because he doesn't even turn! No, it goes down, but the Bucky's land, I think they get in like one shot or two, but it was not as effective as they would have hoped. Give me a kill, not going to take any units. Um, Mr. Robotic leaving. It's, it's kind of hilarious that like the Carbon team is just flying around trying to get, oh, gift, and he does have to abandon it and barely gets out of there alive. But this outpost is getting neutralized. Strider is going to be able to take it and... Domination is about to begin. It seems the outpost will probably get neutralized again. But yeah, at this point, it is a very near impossible to come back at this point, I guess. 136 upkeep. It just continues to climb. Carbon team is completely maxed. They, like, they. Yeah, the game is kind of over. But Kuski getting the lockbox. Thing is, even if he gets it, like, he can't really spend. He has 10,000 credits here, but they're completely maxed. Taking this outpost back would be a start. Probably the easiest move here. Okay, the green army is slowly coming in for the kill. If, um, not sure how he got here, but I guess he was trying to do a drop or just get to the fort, but he's gonna die. And he does... What killed him? He doesn't, he didn't really mention it. Maybe he killed himself, but didn't. I don't know. Is Kilsey gonna sort himself to death? Oh man, he could have maybe sorted himself to death and like you know, gone like, like you know, not giving the opponent the XP. And the death push is coming in. A nuke. I'm not really sure where that came. But the carbon team just completely evaporating. Bro, I, I'm not sure who who did that. It was Probo. Yes, Probo doing a bit of a magic trick. Making the entire carbon army disappear like that. But yeah, this that is going to be game. This 3v3 does go to the green team. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.